All right, so this is going to be the fastest video I've ever done, and it is a follow-up to the question that I asked last week in my video about the uh, Surface Pro Pen and the problems that it was having. A fellow from the uh, Surface team reached out to me after I made that video and wanted to just kind of follow up and talk about some of the things that the team is doing uh, to address the issue. First of all, it is a uh, fix that could be done through software. He doesn't know when the fix is coming. He couldn't give me a specific date, um, but he did say that they are working on it they are aware of it, and they're going to be packaging this bug fix up in a Windows update that's coming in the future. Now, I know this is kind of a frustrating answer for a lot of people because we want it now and we don't know when the future is. He couldn't give me a specific date. Is that a week away? Is that a month away? Is that a year away? I can tell you this from my experience. I have been a designer on software teams before, and sometimes this could be incredibly frustrating because you might have a fix ready, but you have to bundle it with a bunch of other things before releasing it so that you're not just hitting your users with fixes like two or three times a day and you kind of package all those things together. Um, but still, I guess I can report that uh, they know about it, they're working on it, and they're trying to fix it. It's a software thing. It has nothing to do with the uh, pen tips or the pen itself or a hardware issue. It is purely software and it's something they can fix. So that's about it. I'll talk to you guys in about a week or so. And uh, thanks for listening. Just kidding. Video's not over quite yet. Uh, I just do wanted to uh, mention one thing. If you have the Surface Pro 4 and you're having this problem, check out Lazy Numi. I'm going to put a, a link down in the description and it is a like stroke smoother and it's actually kind of a neat little app for Windows anyway. Um, but what that's going to do is that's going to be able to help you get rid of the shoestring problem you're having on it. So anyway, if you are having that problem and it's really frustrating, it's worth checking out. There's a free demo. Uh, I think the, the app does cost a couple bucks after that, but if it solves your problem, it might really help you out. Take care.